amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Ali Boy and today I'm going to show you how to make a very intense, fragrant and aromatic shellfish stock. Fundamental to so many seafood dishes, particularly if they have a sauce. Or in Spain, very important to make a good paella. To prepare it, we're going to need a light in color olive oil, some black peppercorns, and of course the shellfish. In this particular case, I'm using langoustines or prawns, but you can use any shellfish you find in your fishmonger, whether it's crab or, you know, the king of all shellfish, lobster, if you can afford it. And then plenty of aromatics, garlic, flat leaf parsley, bay leaf, rosemary, and fennel seeds. Very good with seafood, fennel seeds carrots, celery, leek, an onion, and then for that extra fragrance and aroma as well, a bit of white wine and brandy, but you can use any hard alcohol you have such as whiskey or cognac. I know of so many people that find shellfish intimidating. In Spain, we eat a lot all year long. So before we start, I want to show you how to peel it, because in any seafood dishes that you will make, you will inevitably by shellfish and you can use the meat and present it quite elegantly and still use all of the shells and the heads to make the stock. Prawns are easier to peel than langoustin. All you need to do is pull the head and then if you have nails better, in my case I don't, but from the belly up you just need to sort of pull the shell upwards and you'll see that it all comes quite easily. There you go, that's when you have no nails like I do, you see, it peels off quite easily. And there you go, that's your prawn. And then the langoustine, you do exactly the same. Pull the head and then crush with your fingers the body. This takes a little bit more effort, you know, just break through the belly and you will see how it comes out. You have the body and you have the shell. And then the legs, cut them in half and the head too, so that you can extract as much as possible to make the stock. Place a large pot over high heat and pour the olive oil followed by the heads and shells of your shellfish. Caramelize them for about three minutes and then add the head of garlic and the bay leaf followed by the roughly chopped vegetables. Brown them for about 10 minutes until you can clearly see that it's starting to stick to the bottom and it all has kind of a brownish color. Add your sprigs of parsley, fennel seeds and rosemary and at this point I would add some tomato if it wasn't because I am using this stock to make paella which already has plenty of tomato in it but if you are using it for any other uh, recipe, please add it at this point. Add your brandy and flambe carefully without burning your head, your hair or your hands and follow straight away with the white wine. Let it reduce down completely and then add your water. Give it a good stir and bring it to the boil. When that happens, you'll see it creates a, a froth on top that you need to skim with the help of a slotted spoon or a ladle. Lower down the heat and let it simmer for about an hour and a half. All you need to do is to pass it through large colander first, so you can take the big part of your head and shells. Squeeze the heads and shells of the prawns so that you can extract as much of the flavor as possible. And then I would pass it through a linen cloth or a smaller chinois so that you get a cleaner stock. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. It will definitely bring your seafood paellas up to the next level with this seafood stock. And don't forget, you can keep it in kilo jars in the fridge up to five days or in airtight containers in the freezer for up to three months. It will become very useful in your next recipes. But anyway, all the best. See you again soon. And let me know on social media any comments or in the comment box below. All the best. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.